Hi guys, welcome back. Crash landing with me, Sid, and uh, I've let the night pass, so I, I am pretty short on food. In fact, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The mobs are... Th Damn it. Press the wrong button. The mobs are thick outside. Um, and let me get... Oh god, what am I doing? No, not that button. Uh, that button. So we're just waiting for the mobs to start doing the uh, dance of burning. Now, in the meantime, I just wanted to have a quick check on the... Oh, I've set, put a chest down so I can get rid of a lot of the stuff I don't want to be carrying on my personage. Uh, don't need that. Don't really need those. Oh, here we go. The dance of fire. So while that's horrendous... I don't know if I can get away with them. My volume's right down. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Anyway. Um, so tools of the trade. We need to make a bone crook and a stone hammer. And that will give us some stuffs. Um, so let's get that done while we're waiting for the... One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, I can't make the stone hammer. Well, I can, but we'll leave that one for a second. Let's just... Have a look over here. You want dirty water bottle. Uh, for that, that needs some zombie jerky. Uh, so what we need is salt and rotten flesh, which I've got here. And we go that and that. And that gives us zombie jerky, which solves a food problem and gives us a bunch of stuff here. So then we're on to cooking utensils. Now this we're going to have to wait for a little bit. We can cook a silkworm once we've got a furnace, which we can't do. Um, so, the next thing to do, really, is probably sort out my hunger situation. And then get out there and catch some mob, mob, mob drops. Oh, come on. Well, better than nothing. I could still make some more, but... Um, We'll hold on for the time being. Now let's see any spiders. I don't hear any spiders. Oh bugger. I've um... I sifted what... Oh, what happened there? Interesting. Something happened there, but I don't know what. Uh, let's get another one. How's my water doing? diabolical that's how it's doing so we need to get this done pretty quickly really hello come on then come on then come on come on jump in what about you guys are you coming are you guys gonna come come play oh do you know don't Uh, exploding when they die. Alright, what we got there? Alright. Oops, reloaded automatically. So where's the rest of them gone? Oh, they're there. Let's have a wander down this way then. Come on then, fellas. Come play. Yeah, and you. You don't want to jump in that hole for me. Okay. Uh, there's a blue creeper over there. And there's... Well, you, I see you, matey. Oh. Get dead. Right. If we can stay away from these guys, we can pick up a bit of this stuff and then we can hopefully see about getting some water sorted out. I think this guy might be... Yep. A bit of a problem. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Loots everywhere. But I really can't afford to be faffing around too much with these guys. Right, I think. Where is you? Where are you then? Oh, I see you. No, I thought it was a mini creeper then. Where is that guy? I can't be thought to be faffing around. 
let's uh, just get in here and grab this stuff and get out. Okay, let's jump out of here. Once my water's completely gone now, I am stuffed. I may actually die. Um, didn't quite get the the right mix of stuff going on here. Let me just grab that quick. And let's deal with these guys. Best way to deal with these but they are, oh god. I need to get... Are you all dead now? You look like you're all dead. I don't know why that collapsed. Someone must have blown up. But my temperature is going up big time, so we need to get this sorted qu quickly. Now the only reasonable way I've got currently of getting water is from saplings um, compressed into dirt and then cooked in a furnace. Um, but the problem I have at the moment is I have probably not got enough cobble. So I'm going to take a bunch of this out and we're going to sift to hopefully get the remaining few stones we need. And fingers crossed I've got a couple of cold water bottles, so if I do overheat too much, yeah, you can see the sweat starting to drip off me there. The time I got in and out, out the, uh, out of the heat. So let's run down here. I need to obviously improve that. Uh, I need to crook this lot for saplings while I can. Let's check my state of play there. Oh come on, I need you to give me more than this. I need eight. Preferably. And then I've got to be really lucky and get enough stone to make a slab furnace. Right, to have this down quick. I know I've got a couple of saplings in the uh, in the base and I've got exactly eight perfect let's get out of the heat because this is going to get nasty uh, we'll take one of those we, we've got plenty of wood so we need to make a barrel um, which if I remember rightly I can't remember how the hell to make slabs and that okay uh, plus one of those and that will make me that stick you down there let's just check i have actually got an eighth sapling i have let's just get that in and cooking and then we need to get this going because i need some water in my pack seriously seriously need some right i'm going to sift this and i will be back in a minute or when i die whichever happens soon soonest okay i've got enough of these i think to make oh damn it to make yes i have good i can make a slab furnace now a slab furnace is preferable to a normal furnace for two reasons one it's cheaper to make and secondly it I need something to cook with. Have I got any coals or no? I need wood then. Give me some wood. Uh, get that. Oh, I don't need that. That's just dirt in a bottle, isn't it? Ignore me. So we mix that and that gives me dirty water, which we can now submit that and claim the reward. And that should give me a clean water bottle and another dirt. And I've got a heat stroke, so I need to sort that out quickly. Fingers crossed that will start bringing my temperature down. In the meantime, let's eat that. This is Survival 101, guys, and I'm dying by a matter of degrees. 
I've got bone meal on me. So let's get that going. As soon as the night comes, which is not far away, we can relax a little bit. Um, the water situation won't be vastly improved, but at least it will be cooler and we heat stroke should wear off we're at 90% hydration at the moment so that's not too bad I can also I drank that cold water bottle by the way to get through today oh there we go what we get there Th three four not, not enough by any means oh god this is uh, not going according to plan uh, I would have liked to have had a whole load more dust to sift, but and I've only got four saplings, which is a bitch and a half, because I'm out of water again. Right, well the only option I've got is to cook up this, well, I've got two options. Um, I can make some dirty water, and I can cook up that cold water. Now, slab furnace has got a big advantage over a normal furnace, it doesn't give off heat. So, from the perspective of, what's the word I'm looking for, this, we don't have to worry about that heating us up. A normal furnace will actually heat us up. Okay, we've got that, and we're going to have to warm that cold water bottle up as well. I don't see any other way around this. Let me sift the rest of this, and I'll see if I can't get through the night again. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. This is um, not going as planned, shall we say. All right, well, we're doing a little bit better at the moment, but the morning's still going to be tricky. Um, what I first need to do is just sort out some food situation, which I can get three zombie jerkies together, so that's not too bad. Um, the other thing we could do is set up some tinkers... Uh, rack, I think it is. is it? Let me just put rack in. That was the one. And that is just three slabs across, so we can do one of those. In fact, we can probably do several of those. Let's, um, let's do several. So we've got a few on the go. Two, three, four, five. That should be enough of those let me go and hang these up somewhere uh, one there one there no no i just gonna have to hit that until it breaks and one there so zombie flesh is quite good because you can you can get a zombie jerky two ways, one with the salt and the other way is by sticking it on these drying racks so it's two different food sources from the same source I apologise for the noise outside, that's uh, pretty horrendous so iron would be useful at this stage, at least a couple so let's get uh, we'll get four on the, well we might as well do the lot five iron uh stick one, two, three of those in there for now. <laughs> because I could do with some shears. Shears will give me leaves which are better for getting water out. Now at the moment I'm still without cobble gem and as I say my water is almost gone again. This is going to be great fun until we get a reliable renewable source of water together. Now in terms of getting power going, we could go for the, I think it's the survivalist generator. Yep, just iron, furnace, some redstone and that. But we're going to need to get a lot more redstone because I've got enough of what I want. And we're going to need to get, I need to get some copper going, that's what I thought. I only need one copper ingot. So we'll get that going. I can't, I can't even do that until... Oh dear. Uh, well, I'll do it anyway. It can't hurt. And we're just going to wait for the morning and hopefully not die too much. 
<coughs> can't promise anything. The way things are going at the moment. It's, uh, oh, I've got another seven of those, which is quite handy, I suppose. So, yeah, I will see you when the sun rises. See you in a moment. Okay, quick return. I've uh, sheared some of the leaves, but I can't really use those until I get the cobble gen going. But I just want to get another bottle of water, if I can do a, a bottle of dirty water. Um, so that's my objective at the moment, is just to get enough saplings to get another bottle of water going. Just to tide me over until I can get some copper. Oh, sorry, glass. So I need cobble to get glass. Um, I'm not too. I'm not even worrying about the mob drops too much out there at the moment. Even though they're hugely valuable, um, they'll be back tomorrow night. That water over there is poisonous, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm not drinking it, so uh, don't right-click water source blocks. You'll kill yourself. <laughs> So what are we at now? Eight. That's not quite enough, but I think I might have another one inside. So uh, we'll just crook it, through, crook another one. Oh no, we're all right. We got nine. We got eight. Uh, and we got a big tree that time as well. Um, let's get those on the cook. We'll go and crook those at the moment because my camel pack is completely empty again. Um. Aren't you glad I chose the easy options? <laughs> without, without these, I would almost certainly be dead by now. I'll just crook this until I've got... Until the crook breaks, basically. And then we're going to go out, and we are intending... Can I, uh... uh... So we can do this down here if we want. That's the idea behind this trap, until we can automate it better. And this, you can see, this thing's pretty good at killing creepers and such. Uh. And zombies. Oh, I've got a heat stroke. Shouldn't have done that. that was oh, man. Uh. Um, give me something to pill her out with. Get me some water in me. Good God. Oh, my hunger's right down. I need to eat something, anything. I need uh, a bottle. A bottle. Give me a bottle. Christ, this is not fun. <laughs> At this early stage, this is anything. Oh, well, no, go in there. Cook. Um. Oh, it's hunger that's bothering me at the moment, and not heat stroke. So let's see what we can do about that at the moment. Not a lot, but clean water, Envira camel pack. Right, that should stave off that for a while. Um, well, hopefully I've got some ammo left for this. Where are you anyway? You're there. And there's a zombie down there. Let me just quickly grab some of this if I can. Looks like I can grab it all. That's pretty good. All right. Now with this hunger level, I am I am in pretty much deep trouble at the moment, and very little water. So what I need to do is use the bucket I crafted and go and get that. Oh God, hello. Two hits a creeper. That's pretty good for a farm, ha a farm tool, isn't it? I don't think it's gonna be much good up here though. I should have built a pick, oh crap. Oh well. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to break this. I should have built a pick. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I need to get this done and done fairly quickly. Cost me waters out again. I've got mining fatigue again. Let's see if I've got any salt. Salt, salt, salt. Oh, I've got one in my in my inventory. Fifteen. Bonk. 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 Let's get that. It. God, this is this is actually really hard. Okay, I'm going to get a pick made, and I will be right back with you. Well, I'm reduced at the moment to cooking silkworms. <laughs> um, yeah, food is not good. Water, I've just managed to make another one, but that's going down rapidly. Um, this is not going as planned at this stage by a long shot. I've got a couple of apples, which if I had a juicer, I could use those, but I don't. All I've got is silkworms, which I suppose is better than a kick in the chops. Give me that last silkworm. Yummy. So it's really, at the moment, what I need to do is I got the blazing pyrethium. Oh, God, I should have done that with a clay bucket, shouldn't I? Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, you do it with a clay bucket, it turns into lava. It's not a problem. There is a way. If I can get out there and grab some clay quick. Get me out. Oh. Before the spider gets me. Um, yeah, clay bucket. Clay bucket. Bup, bup, bup. I knew there was something I was doing. You know when you do something and you go, oh, that's not right. Yeah, that's it. And that's not right either. The fact I'm out of water so bloody rapidly. Cook me that clay bucket, please. Okay, anyway, waiting for the morning and see whether we survive again. See you in a little while. Okay, while we're waiting for the morning, I'm going to sort out this pyrothium problem very quickly. So, I'm on six, seven, got you. Lava bucket. It's a glitch, but it's a glitch that works in our favour. Where's that block gone? So now at least we can uh, make a cobble gen in the morning. That's if we survive till the morning, because I'm out of water again. <laughs> and food isn't looking brilliant either. So, until the morning, I will see you in a little while. Okay, it's morning. There's at least one spider on my roof, so we need to deal with him. Oh, quite a few spiders on my roof. God damn it. What are you? Oh, you're not a particularly tough spider anymore anymore no brilliant right um, let me grab a little bit of this I could do we get some water but I want to get this cobble gen going and I want to get it going sooner rather than later so let's just put that down there we're going to make it uh, I think here so we'll dig down that side and we'll dig. This is a simple. I, I, in my agrarian's guys, I said this is probably one of the simplest cobble gens you can build. And I lied. This is. Um, I need that bucket of lava. Clay bucket of lava. And. Plop. There we go. So then we can go, well, where's my pick gone? We can sit here. Now, this is really stupid when I'm out of water, but I only need a few. Just get myself half a dozen or so. And then through that. 
Right, that gives me some cobble. I've cooked up in here some smooth stone. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim to get another uh, another oh another dirt to get some dirty water just to stave this off, and then we're going to aim to actually do something to fix the problem uh, of this, because this is just ludicrous, you know, I'm just, it is just a constant sort of struggle for water at the moment, which, you know, you can't do anything when you're doing this. But of course this is the objective of the mod pack anyway, so, you know, we shouldn't be surprised that this is the way it works. It's just a complete pain in the arse that it does, because I'm going to get heat I'm going to be suffering from heat stroke in a minute. Oh, I didn't get barely any saplings from that. Get done. <laughs> so let's see if we can't do. And of course, the spiders don't help because they're coming straight over the wall. Um, so you can't work at night when it's cooler yet. Now, in a short while, assuming I survive. Well. Not assuming I survive, because obviously I've got hardcore mode turned off. Then we will be able to. How many have we got now? Nine. Perfect. We can get another water bottle on the go. Right, in you go. Uh, we'll, we'll let it grow naturally if it wants to. Let's get that going get this stone out uh, I need to make I've got heat stroke lovely we need to do that that's a juicer just in case I've got any apples but I didn't unfortunately so oh I think is the request that requires a juicer while I am thinking about it yeah we've picked that up good um, right so what I need to do um, I might as well in fact seal the entrance because I'm not going back out again for a while. Oh come on, this is this is atrocious. Oh I am going back out, there's a sapling out there. <laughs> and a bit of cobble. So we'll have both of them. Now again these mobs down there I haven't got time to even go down at this stage. Everything is pretty critical on me getting this done. Bottle bang bang in you go, cook it for me please. In the meantime, oops, let's have you out of the way. You out of the way. Um, put those away. Is there another one up there? No, okay, I shouldn't be jumping around like this when I'm suffering from heat stroke, but there you go. Okay, that should stave that off. Now, what I need is, I need some sand for starters. I need four sand. Four. Uh, I need to make a hammer. Give me some sticks, god damn you. So that's uh, the hammer. So that's one thing done. Uh, let's check the quests. I also need to check how long I've been recording, to be honest. Right, I also need to make the bone bone crook. And that will be that quest done. Now, what do you give me? Uh, I will go for uh, the bronze axe head, actually, I think. Oh, okay, you want a bone knife and a... Right, sod you, you can wait. See, water's gone already. Um, so I need to do this and I need to do this now. Uh, let me get the stone going. And uh, that was gravel. Uh, so that needs to go down to sand. I think we might survive now. I think we're probably through the worst. Of course, that could be famous last words. Don't know whether there's any point to doing that or not, but we'll do that anyway. I need four glass. I need my copper, which is there. Good. I need the energy cell, which is there. That should be set to output that way. It is. 
give me four glass. Oh, the monster jerky on the drying racks has finished as well, which was, you know, also pretty much a lifesaver because we can get this going and, and that will sustain us a while. But I do need to get out probably in the next morning or two and actually start collecting some mod, some mob drops. I've got 20 of those. Uh, now if this, let me set those running in fact. Uh, let me grab my copper and the four glass. Let's ensure that the output is set to the top. It is. In that goes. So once we've got to each ten, 10 leaf blocks makes a bottle of water basically. So we can go that, grab that, and out we go. Oops, put it on. Don't throw it on the ground, John. And once that's done, the next one, we can grab that and do the same. And that should get, allow me to get out there, bone meal up that tree, and where's my thing is, let me check my sapling situation. I've got three, that's not a problem. So, bone meal. Come on. Uh, I'll crook until I get a... Oh, I've got a sapling in my inventory. That's fine. So we'll... Get this one going. Oh, well, does it? It drops saplings anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. I'm just going to basically be bone mealing trees now for the next few moments until oh, I've got to get the right button. Come on, uh, don't be like that. If I can get myself enough water to get through a day without having to panic like we have been uh, that will be pretty damn good uh, for oh yeah we are now I think uh, at least semi self-sustainable on water that's not what I want I want those right in you go 64 of them and this is going to last a while, uh, but we need to obviously get some generation going. I'm just going to pause here because I'm not sure how long I've been recording, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, well, night's falling again. Um, I have managed to almost fill my camel pack. Um, it is taking a lot to rehydrate me, of course, because my dehydration dropped very low, so I'll probably have to repeat this process a couple of times. Um, so the next thing we need to start looking at is some of these quests. Uh, the bone knife and the bone crossbar, that's pretty easy. Let's go get a couple of blank patterns going. There's one. And there's two. So then we need a... Next... Where are we? Uh, is that a knife blade? That's a sword blade. That's a crossbar, we need one of those, and that's a knife blade, we need one of those, uh, and then we jump over here, and stick that in, and I need a bit more bone meal. Fortunately, I'm not short of that at the moment. And then I think we're going to be calling it an episode, oh, that's not what I want, I want that me a bone knife blade let's see now what do you want anything or nothing no we'll take that oh manual detect armor you want wood armor I think we can do that well we definitely can do that a helmet chest plate boots and trousers 
Uh, we'll take that and we'll claim the reward. Let's see what we got. Anything else on this way? Oh, we've got all sorts now. So we can complete that. That's got cold water bottles. That's nice. Cantaloupe seed or iron ore dust. Huh, I can get make that. That's not particularly useful now. Let's grab that and that. Oh. Let's empty my inventory a bit. And then we can claim that. Full. I need more chests. Show me a bit of space, please. Okay. Uh, well, we can... We can assemble that. Uh, and then we can claim this reward. So that gives me a very valuable seed, but more important to me, it gives me a hugely valuable hopper and autonomous activator. Um, what's the recipe for? Oh, I need a stick. Might as well make the knife while we're at it, clear some space. Let's have a look what next. Even hotter, it needs an unfired crucible and an unfired clay bucket, so I need to make that. That is going to be hard. That we need to kill a bunch of stuff. Um, that we need to make some rice and I don't think I've got any rice seeds yet so where is the request that gives me rice seeds anywhere there the cooked um, cooked hoofa doofa right that is six and a half things my thing is an early thing okay um Against all odds, surprisingly, we have survived. We've survived to tell another tale. What was my thing at? 43. Let's grab a couple of those and just top that off. So, next episode, hopefully, we can actually do something constructive rather than reactive. Because at the moment, or certainly this episode, we've just literally been reacting to you know, situation as it occurs, which is not ideal, you know, you want realistically to be proactive in this, um, oh god, that is gone down a lot though, so one thing we are going to need to make is a generator, which is just cobblestone, iron, a furnace and redstone, the other thing we're going to need to make is a transfer node, um, and that is chest we need to make we need 9, 10, 11 redstone there and we need the transfer pipes which are stone slabs, redstone and glass so that's not beyond the realms of possibility and it will make things a lot easier for us so I hope you've enjoyed that guys I apologise if it was a bit knee jerk reaction left right and centre but that's the nature of the beast and I will see you soon bye for now